Hey guys, uh, Will Richardson here. I'm the cameraman for the kayak fishing show and what I'm going to tell you about is the best way to store your camera gear on the water. The camera I'm shooting with right now is the FS700. It's last year's Sony's big uh, slow motion camera and action camera. It's a great camera for this type of, uh, this type of work, what we do with uh, kayak fishing. Problem is it's also a really terrible form factor because this is basically a giant water sink. So if any rain gets on here, all these buttons just soak up the water. We've fried this camera twice already, um, just from rain alone. So you have to put a lot of effort into protecting your gear. There are two different bags that I use to do that. Um, you can't go wrong with a watershed bag. Uh, watershed makes a uh, watershed makes a, a sealable zipper bag. I've gone through Rapids where the, using the watershed bag is my flotation. I mean, obviously I always wear a PFD, but I'll hold on to the watershed bags because they are completely indestructible and bomb proof once you've figured out how to get that, that zipper down right. The second bag I use is a much, much bigger NRS. Uh, it's called, I think it's called the Aquatote. It's a great big NRS bag that has a great big wide mouth on it. And that's so I can put this camera away and get it out super, super fast. So those are the two things always carry in the water. The, the last thing that I always, 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 always carry with me is a towel of some sort. So either a, uh, a microfiber chamois or a, just a bath towel. If you're in a location, a hotel, grab the bath towel out of it. First off, you can put it in the bottom of the case to sort of protect the camera as it sits in the bottom so you're not banging it on the bottom of the hull all day. And secondly, you can use it to cover the camera when the sun comes out and starts just, I mean, this black plastic just heats up to a bazillion degrees. And third, you can use it to wipe off water or protect it from, from little rain, a rain, uh, little bit of rain and that kind of thing. So those are sort of my three top tips for, for uh, protecting your camera gear. Get yourself a watershed bag. Get yourself a something else, a larger bag to, so that you have quick access and always bring a towel. Be sure to go to yakangler.com for more episodes and more information about yak anglers inside and out. Until next time, I'm Jameson Redding and we'll see you out there.